Today we're going to be learning about tug of war. What is tug of war? Does anyone know? Has anyone ever played tug of war? Yeah, what's tug of war? Casper? It's, it's like the game where, where many people are on two sides pull a, a string. Yeah. Pull a rope. Yeah, they take a rope and they pull it. Very good. That's tug of war. So we're, what we're going to learn today, let's have Lily read the first bullet point, please. Lily, read the first bullet points. Yeah. What's happening to an more than one Very good. And then let's have Lion. Can you read the second bullet point? What is the direction of a horse important? How does this affect the object? Very good reading, good pronunciation. So we've been learning about pushing and pulling, but a lot of objects are usually being pushed and pulled in more than one direction at the same time. So here we have a foam ring. We have a purple ring. How many forces do you guys see that are on this ring? How many forces are being applied to this ring? Anyone have an idea? I think two. Two. Very good. In which direction are they? The direction uh, opposite. Of, yeah, the opposite. One dog is pulling this direction and the other dog is pulling in this direction, in opposite directions. Are there, is there another force? Think about the force that keeps you on Earth. What force keeps you on planet Earth? Gravity. Gravity. So there's another force going down. Right now, there's three forces on the ring. The dog is pulling it in one direction. The other dog is pulling in the opposite direction. And there's gravity. There is gravity. There's even more forces than this. Let's say there's a little bit of wind. There might be a little tiny force of wind from left to right. There's so many different types of forces that can be on a single object. That is what we are going to be learning today. So which direction is the force? What direction is the force going? Is it going to the left or is it going to the right? Or both? Um, both. Both. Let me show you guys the arrows. And we would say the force is what? The arrows are the same size. So we could say, what happens? What do we use when something is the same in math? What do we do when something is the same in math? Susie, what do we use in math when we want to say something is the same? We will say it is equal. Equals. So I would say the forces are equal. If the forces are equal, will the center of the rope move? Will the center of the rope move if the forces are equal? If the forces are equal, will the center of the rope move? Pony. It will stay the same. Stay at the yeah. Yep, exactly. It will stay the same. Okay. But, so right now we have two forces. We have two forces. Let's, I would like you guys to circle the weaker force. Circle the weaker force. Okay. You guys got it correct. Good job. And which arrow is smaller? Which arrow is smaller? Let's have, okay, dragon. Which arrow is smaller, the left one or the right one? The arrow on the right. The one on the right? No, that's your left. The left side is smaller. And right. I know. 
Guys, if you ever get your left and right confused, think about what hand you write with. You probably write with your right hand. So just see where your hands are at. Okay, so yeah, the force on the left is smaller. These forces are not equal. These forces are not equal. So if I have a so if I have a football on the rope, which direction will this ball go? Which direction will the ball go? Let's have Tony. Yes. Which, which yes. direction will the football go? Um, the football will go to the right. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's it's gonna have a direction to the right. Sure. Its motion is gonna be on the right. Yes, Tony. <laughs> ball is going to go to the right because the net force wants it to go to the right because that force is bigger. I'll show you an example. If you took this arrow, okay, so if you took the small arrow and the big arrow, if you subtracted them from each other, you would get the net force. But we're gonna learn that in a later class. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Okay, so if you guys have your books, you guys can turn to page 80. You guys can turn to page 80 and we're gonna answer question 13. I would like everyone to read question 13 to themselves. There are more than one answer. Read A, B, C, and D, and choose which answers you think are correct. Let's have someone read A, and I would like you guys to tell me if it's true or false. Let's have Hong. A, both stuff are applying force by pulling on the toy. Okay, are both dogs pulling on the toy? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So this is correct. They are both applying a force. Can we tell which for if the forces are equal or not? So guys, because it's a picture, we can't see which dog is stronger. We don't know. We don't know which dog is stronger. If it was a video, we could watch and figure it out. Okay, so A is correct. Okay, let's have Nick. Can you unmute? Okay, can you read letter B for us? Only the stronger dog is applying force pull by pulling on the toy. Okay, so is only the stronger dog applying a force or are both dogs? Both dogs. Yeah, so is B correct? No. No. B is false. So I'm going to get rid of B. Okay, and let's have someone do C. Let's have... Let's have Mia. Mia, can you read C? The motion happens in the direction of the stronger force. Is this true or false? Will the teddy bear move towards the stronger force? Okay, let's ask your classmates. Everyone, unmute. Is this true or false? True! Um, true! Good job. True! Oh, that, that had some cool echo to it. Very good. Yes, this is true. This is true. I'll do the last one, and you guys can tell me if it's true or false again. Uh-oh, Mr. Connor messed up his circling. Let me erase that. D, the dog pulling with the stronger force might also pull the other dog towards it. Is this true or false? Everyone, in three, two, one. This is true. If you said true, you got it correct. Okay. So guys, if you answered A, C, and D, you are correct. B is the only false one. Okay. So guys, the way they're talking about this is the stronger dog the stronger dog, let's say the black dog is stronger, then the teddy bear will go towards the black dog. It will go to the left. But if this dog pulls with stronger force, this brown and white dog pulls with stronger force, then the teddy bear will pull to the right. Okay, direction matters. Let's have someone read the first paragraph. Robert, can you read the first paragraph? You know that direction that a plot is applied to imp that is important. 
in air hockey, pushing the puck in the wrong direction could make you lost. Yeah, Robert, have you ever played air hockey? Robert, have you ever played air hockey? Yes, it's super fun. It's super fun. And what does the hockey puck do? Does it, how does it? Do you know what the hockey puck does? What's it doing on the table? We push it, and the disc will go. Yeah, is the disc fast or slow? We put a hot box. It will go very fast. Yeah. Question. Yes, Leo. What's your question? Uh, air ho hockey is when there is some air in it that is blown out, and then up, and then the this one, the round one, will go faster. Yeah, exactly. If you guys think about it this way, right? So. Now that you guys understand more about forces, if I have a hockey table, let's say this is our hockey table, and this is our this is our puck. Well, think about it. We have the hockey table blowing air, which is our force is going up. Our force is going up. The air is causing the force to push the puck up. What force is pushing the puck down? Tom, the, the air is pushing it up. Yeah, gravity. Gravity is pushing it down. So I'll show you guys. So you have, so you guys have air on the bottom and gravity on top. And these forces are equal. So the puck floats. So the puck floats in the air. And this makes the puck go really fast, really fast, because the puck isn't touching anything other than the air. Because the puck won't, isn't touching anything other than air. OK, the whole point is the puck is floating. The puck is floating. And then the, the player applies forces to the puck. The force of the mallet changes the direction of the puck and sends it to the other goal. So remember, you can change the direction of an object by applying a force to that direction. We have our vocab word direction. Could I have someone read the definition for direction? Let's have potato. A direction is a path that a thing object takes. Yeah, and what do we have to do to an object to change its direction? If I want to change its direction, what can I do? So let's say we have a football and it's rolling towards you. How can you change the football's direction? You kick, you kick it. You, kick. You, you apply a force in a different direction. Very good. So guys, you change the direction of the object by applying a force. What's the definition of pull? Who remembers it? We should have this memorized now. What's the definition of pull? Lion, is it when the object goes away from you or towards you? Away from you. Okay, let's see if you're right. Can you read the definition? Uh, pull is when you use force to move the object close to you. Yeah, so not away from you, closer to you. Think about pulling someone towards you. When you pull something towards you, if I take my wallet and pull it towards me, it's getting closer to me. It's getting closer to Mr. Connor. How about push? How about push? Who can tell me the definition of push? Let's have Tony. Push mean when you push something, that thing will get farther to you. Yeah, further away. Can you read the definition? A push is when you use a force to move an object away from you. Very good, yeah. Imagine if someone comes up to you and you push them. 
they're going to go away from you. They're going to go away from you. That's why you're pushing them. You're pushing them away. Pull is towards, push is away. And motion, this is a hard one. Motion. Mia, do you have a guess? Motion. Motion is when an object is moving. When an object change its position, it is moving. Very good. And I'll give you guys an example. If I have my wallet, okay? Right now, there is no motion. Right now, there is no motion. It's staying in the same place. But if it changes its position, if it changes its position from my left hand to my right hand, it is now has motion because it's changing position because it's changing position. Don't play the quiz right now. Play it for homework, okay? But guys, you can take the quiz as many times as you want and you guys can see who gets first place, second place, or third place. Make sure to use your name from class so me and Miss Ling know that you took the quiz. I will be checking. I will be checking who took the quiz next class. And we can see who got first place, second place, and third place. You can take the quiz more than one time. Does anyone have any questions on their homework? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, okay. guys. Bye-bye.